In my last two videos, I built and thrust tested my EDF afterburner. This is version 2. I designed it in Fusion 360 and 3D printed it in red PETG. My biggest problem with this design is the plastic enclosure melting. So I used fireplace mortar rated for 2000 degrees Fahrenheit to coat any pieces that were going to be exposed to heat or a direct flame. I did my best to spread the mortar evenly. This stuff has a lot of small grains in it that make it impossible to get perfectly smooth, but I got it to where I needed it. When I finished coating the enclosure, I inserted a circular piece of steel to protect the low pressure zone from heat. Finally, I added the efflux ring, which pumped fuel into the system. I made sure everything was connected and sealed both sides together with high temperature JB Weld. Okay, so I added the JB Weld and I just kind of used this stick to uh, coat the edges uh, before and when I attached it I, uh, I just kind of smeared it along the seam. It should be good. Um, it's a pretty good seal. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it should stop it from splitting. Uh, it should hold it together quite well. So I'll wait uh, about six hours for it to dry and it should be good to go. When the JB Weld was dry, I finished the enclosure by adding two long cuts of steel for the ignition with an electric lighter. Now it's ready to test. As you can see, the afterburner is not wanting to run for long periods of time. This seems to be the biggest flaw with this enclosure. If the ratio of butane and airflow aren't perfect, I get flameouts and the combustion stops. It also doesn't help that instead of using a servo for the butane like in the last video, I'm controlling the flow by hand. This is why I immediately started working on a version 3. I'm testing out making the exhaust out of carbon fiber and fireplace mortar. This way I can use less mortar and save weight because carbon fiber can withstand high temperatures. I'm using the 3D printed exhaust as a negative mold to wrap the carbon fiber cloth.
The exhaust looked quite good for a first time using carbon fiber. I then started working on the main body, which was almost built identical to the version 2. The only difference was a steel shield with bent ends around the efflux ring. When I attached the exhaust, the afterburner was ready to test. I think this version 3 was a significant improvement compared to version 2. The main reason being the steel shield added around the efflux ring allowed for a pressure differential. I'm already working on version 4, which the design will be inspired from a ramjet design. Thanks for watching.